no Santa in Nigeria. I'm fabulous. I'm gonna sit down now because I'm getting old and my legs hurt. <laughs> we don't look at the weather. We just wake up and you're like, oh, okay, it's hot today. Yeah, it's cold tomorrow <laughs> and that's it. Nigerian <laughs> prince telling me that he is in the hospital and needs a free <laughs> ticket to America. I clearly yeah, know right. that's not real. <laughs> Every time I hear that music, it just makes me all excited. Good evening, everybody, all of you far, far away across the world. I'm Jeffrey Hill, and I'm excited to be here today because we have an excellent, excellent guest all the way from Nigeria. Her name is Ola Wunmi Oyedeji. We call her Ola for short, and she says, you know what, every time I hear Spanish-speaking people say Ola, I realize they're saying hi, but I keep thinking they're trying to talk to me. So sometimes it's a little confusing here in America where so many people speak Spanish. It's incredible. And you know how sometimes we think Nigeria, a lot of us Americans will think that Nigeria is synonymous for spam or scammer. And that is not entirely true. There are people in Nigeria who work really hard for a living, who are sincere, humble, kind people. And one of them here is on my show today. Ola Wunmi Oyedeji. Ola for short. And we're going to introduce you to this quality, very fabulous woman in just a moment. Ready in five. I'm Carly. Four. Three. Spaghetti taco. Two. I, Carly, is going to be taking a break. Welcome to the new I, Carly. We'll help however we can. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Damn it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. People are weirdly loving this. Oh, I don't think this is how you do it. This is your moment to shine. You need to be a trailblazer. Like an effortless trailblazer. Like I just got out of bed and was all, oops, I just blazed a trail. Hot wings, hot Cheetos, hot pretzels, and hot beers. Oh. That's the last time I listen to Guy Fieri. I am in no place to date. Freddy, I put your warm milk in your thermos next to your bed. So are we done here? Oh. Oh. This is not how I imagine my life. The garlic. Maybe you just need some arm candy of your own. And I have the perfect guy. <laughs> Yeah, we're done. Do you think you can shoot me using that filter that makes my cheekbones all... Like an alien? A sexy alien. <laughs> there we go. Welcome back, everybody. Like I said earlier... Okay, that's enough clapping now. Sometimes we think of Nigeria as the land of scammers, and that is not accurate. There are honest, sincere, humble people in Nigeria who work for a living, honestly, are really, really excellent at what they do. And today, my guest, who we call Ola, is from Nigeria. She is a Nigerian TV star who hosts her own show called The Ola Show and is the host of another show called Try My Job. Welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm fabulous. I'm going to sit down now because I'm getting old and my legs hurt. So <laughs> I'm super okay. glad to see you here. All the way from yeah, Nigeria. How is the weather today? Thank you. The weather is fabulous. What's the, what's the temperature like in Nigeria at this time of year? Oh, well, it's usually hot, but in Nigeria, we... Oh, okay, so an interesting thing that happens in Nigeria is we usually do not... Um, we don't look at the weather. We just wake up and you're like, oh, okay, it's hot today. Yeah, it's cold tomorrow, <laughs> and that's it. But there are usually times of the year where we expect it to be cold. The times where we expect it to be super hot. Half the time it's hot anyway, so... 
What do you consider cold? What temperature is cold for you? 22 degrees, 26 degrees? Not, okay, so we don't actually even measure our weather and temperature. Like, it's not common. So you just know that, okay, it's cold. It's colder than it was yesterday, and that's it. Do you get <laughs> snow in your front yard? Nope. Never, it doesn't huh? get that cold. Because Never. you're very close to the equator. Yeah. So at Christmas time, does Santa drive a motorcycle or does he come with reindeer and sleighs? No Santa in Nigeria. Seriously? Not at all. Oh, yep. <laughs> this could be the only country I've ever heard of that doesn't have a Santa at Christmas time. So what oh, do well, you... Oh, well, they call what, it fast. And um, what happens with that is people go to some parks, maybe amusement parks or some churches, have um, a Santa Claus wearing costume, someone wearing a Santa Claus costume and just playing with the kids generally. But, but they're no not, particular Santa, Santa doesn't driving deliver around. gifts in the house? Nope. nope. Instead, Santa comes and hangs out with the kids in the park. Uh, the kids go to meet Santa in whatever location <laughs> they decide to make Santa appear. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Basically. Very interesting. Yeah. I really never thought that of is. that. I've been, I've been all over the world, and, but I've only been in Korea during Christmas time. And okay. in Korea, they don't have Santa anywhere. At least not when I yeah. was there. Totally zero Santa in South Korea. Mm -hmm. I've never been to North Korea Christmas time, so I couldn't really speak to that. So, in Nigeria, the, a lot of Americans believe, and I already talked about this a second ago, I want to dispel yeah. the, the lie, the fake news. Mm -hmm. Is it really true yeah. that Nigeria is full of scammers? That's not true. That's so not true. The same way every country has um, its good and the bad side is the same way Nigeria has its positive and negatives. So even in America, times I've been in America, I've gotten so many spam mails, so many spam text messages and calls and all of that. And so it's the same way across the world. It's not, it, it doesn't mean that Nigeria is solely the country where all of that happens now. There is a percentage of people that do it and it's less than five percent that is really good to know so the next time i get an email from a nigerian <laughs> prince telling me that he is in the hospital and needs a free <laughs> ticket to america i clearly yeah, know right. that that's not real <laughs> because actually that nigerian <laughs> prince is probably in new york city in the bronx yeah it's possible exactly yeah and he's it's just possible. making it look bad for nigeria yeah true yeah, it's probably Very more true. likely. I mean, the reality mm -hmm. is, if, if someone was sitting in a hospital in Nigeria, the doctor's not going to say, here, borrow my laptop and, <laughs> and, and get some money from America. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's unlikely. True. Yeah, I actually Very had that true. happen one time. They said, I'm in the hospital. I'm, I'm, I'm in surgery. I'm having surgery right now. I only need $800 <laughs> for an airplane ticket to come to Florida. And I said, how can you be in surgery using a laptop? And then it always <laughs> makes me wonder, if they have the money for, to purchase internet connection, mm -hmm. then why aren't they spending that on food for their baby? Mm-hmm, true. I mean, it's just a little That's common a sense, question. people. If you're getting yeah, these spammers sure. contacting you saying, I just don't have money for my baby. Here, let me help you out. The <laughs> world is different than America. Inside yeah. America, you pay your internet bill once a month, and it's all good. You're like $40, 50 bucks. Maybe you splurge and you pay $100 per month for your internet for unlimited internet. But in other countries around the world, that's not the way it works, people. They pay mm -hmm. by the megabyte. And so if you, ha and it's very expensive. For example, the other day I heard that you can purchase, you can hire a full-time chef in India for 50 bucks a month. 
Ball. So if you're thinking about that, do you really think that some scammer is going to spend $50 <laughs> a month their entire yeah. income yeah. To, to, to talk to you? No, they're, they're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, true. You know, uh, don't give them your money. Seriously. Yeah, that's the most like, important thing, really. Like Ola said, you know, true mm -hmm. Nigerians, they have jobs, which mm -hmm. is what we're going to talk about in a minute. Yeah. They're humble. They're not out there trying to take advantage of you. So don't give them money, people. Gosh, dang, it's such common sense. So, in Nigeria, how you're, you're a Nigerian TV actress. How did you get this? Tell me the story. How did you become, you know, you're very young. This is very <laughs> obvious. You look very young. How did you become this Nigerian TV actress? Uh, this, is, this journey has been about 10 years old. So while I was in um, when I was in the university, because um, I have my major in chemical engineering, um, somewhere along the line, I realized that I had a passion for TV presenting. Because a friend of mine who was working in a TV station at the time had called me to just go with him to the TV station and just audition for something. I was like, oh, okay, let's do it, and. I went there, auditioned, and I got the job immediately, and I was like, oh, wow. And so that was the first time I started my TV show. In fact, I was given a five-minute slot on a morning show, and it increased to a 30-minute slot on a weekend show, and so it just started. And then from there, I had to create, produce, and then when I got back to Lagos, where I was based at the time, I just, that was when I graduated anyway, and so I decided, okay, we can create, I could create my own TV show, and so I created Try My Job, and we've been at it since. So you, you literally had a career in chemical engineering. That, that pays really yes. well. And <laughs> yeah, you went does. from chemical engineering, a very serious vocation, <laughs> to being an entertainer. Passion. <laughs> and you've never looked back, right? No, nah, never. It's but during been TV COVID, all along. But during COVID, a lot of a lot of Bollywood, Hollywood, and I believe you call it Ni Niger. Nollywood. No, no, Nollywood. Nollywood. Okay. I, I should read my teleprompter correctly. <laughs> yes, a lot of Nollywood is unemployed during COVID. Yeah, true. How, how do you survive if you're an entertainer during COVID in Nollywood? Do you, can you still work? Uh, well, because the average Nigerian is dogged, um, we kind of learn to overcome any situation. So for me, uh, during the lockdown, I was filming, I was shooting. So we had the season of the Ola show shot during the lockdown virtually. So, yeah, I was still kind of working. You literally did a virtual <laughs> Ola show the whole season. Yes. Virtually. Yes. Yes. That has got to and have it was been a very good. different experience. Yeah, it was. And it was a good one because I was able to interview people from across the world. So it kind of got me thinking, okay, do I really need to still continue as TV or we can just put it online and have more people? So how did that work out? So, did yeah, you get more viewers? About that. Yeah, we got more viewers. We got more, more international guests. And so it's really encouraged me to consider having the online edition of the Ola show. And let's see how it goes from there. That's, a, that's really a complete success story. I love how my logo is covering your head. You should move a little bit to the left. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah outstanding so then you you've also been a host on a show called try my job what what is that yes oh try my job is a reality tv show where we get influential people to swap jobs with their fans for a day um one of the reasons i created that show was because i noticed that the rate of unemployment at the time was quite high in nigeria and in africa at large and then young wanted to people want to do stuff but they had no idea how 
and so what we do what we do with the show basically is to get their favorite celebrities to try those jobs and to encourage them to look into blue collar jobs because i mean a lot of people graduate and there are no jobs for them and they can actually create jobs for themselves and other people if only they get skilled and so aside your regular university degree we encourage people to also get skilled so that they can improve the blue collar sector and also be employers of labor so that is why the try my job show was created and so we try to make it as interesting as possible and as educative as possible so really you're taking people who have zero experience in something like the, the clip yeah. we're going to see today completely <laughs> change what they're doing yeah. now to something completely different and then see how they do yeah true and then what I, that also I, does is okay so what that also does is um, it gives people the opportunity to appreciate those jobs and the job owners so for instance if i got you to become like a janitor for a day you would understand what the janitor goes through every day what his life is like and how difficult that job can be and the next time you see another one you even if you don't say thank you you just have the sense of appreciation at the back of your mind knowing fully well that this job is not particularly easy so that's also I was, the flip side of i was going to yeah. point that out and you beat me you beat me to it that's that's excellent oh, sorry. no it's perfectly fine it's better from your mouth yeah. than mine you're much more eloquent <laughs> I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't try very hard because it's a disappointment. So I know mm. that some of the people at home are looking at you and saying, mm. is she available? Is this beautiful woman <laughs> single? Because you are really, you're, just, you're gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've got can can I have yes. your number? <laughs> don't worry i'm sure you already have it <laughs> well what about you know are you single i'm not single but i'm not married yet oh gentlemen at home there's still <laughs> hope you know how it oh, is <laughs> no ring on the finger you know how it is still available Bing! Uh, okay turn on the light <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't share your phone number or your email address with anybody because I don't even know those things myself. I'm not privy to that private information. They just tell me to sit in the chair. <laughs> I got a yeah. cough. <coughs> Sorry. I don't have any water here. <clears throat> so you're single. Are you looking for a husband? I'm not <clears throat> available. <laughs> not available. <laughs> Ah, so much disappointment in the viewers today. <laughs> oh, well, you know, the right guy, he's going to come along one of these days. You'll find that mm. partner. It'll be good. <coughs> we got to leave I'm these good. viewers with some hope. Are you okay? Do you need something? I need to do another My, my favorite beverage, Dr. Pepper. So, mm -hmm. do they have Dr. Pepper in Nigeria? No, we have Coca-Cola. Oh, that's a good product. I like that also. Yeah. My favorite is Dr. Pepper. What, what, what's, your, what is, what's your favorite, your most favorite thing to drink? Uh, I'm trying to avoid soda these days. Um, so, if I'm to drink anything, I'll probably do maybe an orange juice. Orange juice? Yeah. Ah. Natural, oh, natural juice. food. It's good for you. Oh, cranberry juice is really good. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, fantastic. I want to show everybody this clip of you in the TV show Try My Job mm. after this message. All right. <laughs> Are an infinite. Devon Macaulay. 
diagnosed with schizophrenia at 14. After carving the words, look inside into your chest with a box cutter. Look inside. Why those words? Which one of these is yours? Look, you could skip the uh, whatever the hell this is because none of that is mine. Was it yours? I don't know what you're talking about anyway. What you think? Jesus! Every time you say, I don't know, this trigger gets pulled. Is it yours? Look, I don't know. Are you out of your mind? Last chance, Evan. Is this yours? Hello, old friend. your first life, Evan. You are an infinite. You've lived and died a thousand times. You're talking about reincarnation. If you can remember who you were, Understand who you can become. Welcome back. We are here talking to Ola from the Ola show in Nigeria who also, it just happens that she's the host of Try My Job, another very, very popular TV show in Nigeria. She's here with me today. We're going to take a look at this clip of her, but I have a question. Ola, yeah. how long have you been hosting this show, Try My Job? 2012, so it's about nine years now. Yeah. Nine years. <laughs> Do you still get nervous every time the show starts? What'd you say? Do you still get a little nervous when you're going to do another episode? Definitely. De definitely. What? Why is that? I mean, you're a seasoned actress. <laughs> you should not be nervous. Uh, well, because it's a reality show, it's not scripted. So you have to be able to think on the spot. You have to be able to, you know, go along with whatever it is that is going on, the celebrity, the person whose job you're trying, and all of that. So it's a bit not too easy. <laughs> the crazy TV fun. show host whose uh, head isn't quite right. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, I fun. understand that. Well, that's cool. Mm. That's very, very cool. So on this clip that we're going to play right now, wh what is it? What are we going to see? Who, who are we talking about? Give me some background on this clip. Okay, so Brother Shaggy is a popular comedian in Nigeria. Th that's his name, trying Bro to... Brother Shaggy? Yes, okay. <laughs> that's okay. his stage name. So he's trying the job of a beautician. And um, this particular episode was actually shot with uh, the CNN crew when they came to Nigeria and... They also were interested in the Try My Job show, and so we had to shoot this particular episode for them. Um, so Brother Shaggy tries the job of a beautician for a day, and then we get to ask him questions about what he learned, and you know, also ask the owner, the job owner, some um, questions about her job, whatever challenges she faces, and all of that. So that's it. When CNN showed up to shoot this episode, were you nervous? Really nervous? Yeah, I was actually because I was ill at the time. So I literally got up from the hospital to shoot. 
So it was like this judge for, and then I showed up the next. Yeah. Wow. So you were still, <laughs> you were still sick. Yeah, I was really dehydrated at the time. I constantly needed sugar because I was still trying to just get my energy back. But I mean, the job must go on. So. So we when we it. watch the clip, we're going to wait, be watching you actually not well. And yet you hit it so well, you can't even tell. It's, it's amazing. Well, th but that's a, that's a true quality actor right there. Even though you feel Thank a certain you. way, you portray a, a different mm -hmm. person. That's, that's excellent. Yeah. Come well, let's, to watch, let's watch this clip of you and Broda Shaggy on Try My Job. Today, Try My Job takes you Hi there, you're welcome to another exciting episode of Try My Job with Ola. You know, as usual, we get your favorite celebrities to swap jobs with their fans for a day. And today, my guest is an actor, a comedian, and he sings. Brother Shaggy! Yeah, I do. <laughs> Any question of the day? Plenty. Where's the way with Shaggy? No, I'm fine, but I'm good. When I need pump people, I think, but can see the way I'm shiny. Oh yeah, they say I had to do a British show. I'm already, oh yeah, already a British show. Sorry for the love stock. Continue. I'm short of words. Anyway, <laughs> this is your teacher. She's going to be taking you through her job. Yeah. Get ready to learn. So you're learning another skill today. Sure. Ah, beautician now. Ah, okay, I'm ready. So what are you teaching him? So, um, Pradashak is going to learn how to do a particular type of facial that is called microdermabrasion. And not only that, you're going to do lash extensions as well. Please explain that to him. Okay. <laughs> Microdermabrasion is <laughs> <It's> a kind <laughs> of facial, okay? This was brought to you by the Try My Job team, a production of the Vision Media Concept. Excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Well, she knows that. Her face will remain the same. Don't worry. Let's hope it's for the better. Why though? So yeah. that you don't spit on your client. Apply it here. Put your hand here. And... Exactly. Exactly. And then you rub for that part. Great. Great. Good job. This is the process of doing microdermabrasion facials, and um, I hope you've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be able to do it. Definitely. Okay, great. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Guys, so now it's time for you to fix lashes. All right, I did. Okay, good. I hope you learned a lot from the previous ah. procedure. <laughs> <laughs> And then you make sure it doesn't touch the skin. So it's like one to two millimeters away from, from the, skin. the skin. Everything is calculations. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, mm. so that's how it goes. And people really don't understand it. <laughs> it takes time. So, yeah. How's it going? It's going well. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie. I did not touch anything. I, see, I yeah. can't do this one. Right, people, they still try my job with all that. The show continues in a bit. challenge financially in terms of shooting your videos before it became a hit? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, when I started, you know, I I definitely, you know, because no one knew me, so I just have to go to um, a mechanic workshop. I'll just talk to the person there. I'll just, please just give me a few hours. I need to be... Thank you so much, Brenda. Welcome. We hijacked her entire shop today. <laughs> Thank Thanks you for coming. making out time. Thanks so you coming. heard from both of them. She says get a degree, whatever you do, ensure you get educated. And Brother Shaggy is saying whatever you do, 
try and be original yeah. find yourself and develop your skills yeah. so guys as i would always say there is dignity in labor it's been trying my job with Ola. till next time bye for now oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fabulous this is a Thank wonderful you. tv yeah. show i want i Thank want to you. watch more did did cnn <laughs> decide to do some more episodes or are they going to copy it and not call you or no. what, what are they doing <laughs> did they tell no, you actually it was no it was actually um an interview um for cnn african voices change makers and so i was tagged one of the change makers in africa and they came to nigeria to shoot to cover the project i was involved in so this was one of them wow it's fascinating. So I, I loved what you said at the very end where, where you said, you know, go out, get a degree, do something, take action. You know, yeah. I, I really liked the, your closing statement. Obviously, I can't remember every word you said. But it, was, it was fascinating. <laughs> there is dignity in labor. <laughs> yes, dignity in yeah. labor. There's nothing yeah. wrong with working. Exactly. Wow, that is really a telling thing. In today's world where so many people in America are taking advantage of... Um, Mm. not working yeah true so what how many more years are you going to do this this try my job or are you looking for something different uh -huh. i have no idea right now i have no idea we'll keep recording till i don't know if anything else comes up fine but for now i have no idea <laughs> the future's wide open though exactly so we'll i think you have tremendous potential <laughs> One of the thoughts that came thank to my you. mind was, you're like the Oprah of Africa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's tremendous. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Do you know how to sing? I try sometimes. <laughs> you do? Well, I, I left that I clip of Brother Shaggy in there because it was singing and it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering, can you sing? I try. I sing very well in my closet. Really? When I'm in the bathroom, I'm a fantastic singer <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> we're, we're not going to go in there. No shower <laughs> singing today. But I would love to hear you sing me a short verse of your favorite song. What do you have? Uh, a traditional African Nigerian song. What? Something traditional. Mm. Mm. I can't think of any right now. Something you sing Let's at church. See. Oh, you uh, know Amazing Grace. Yeah. Yeah. I know Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet thy sound that saved a wretch like me. I was once lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. That's all. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. I can hear your passion. Thank you. I can you. really hear your passion. Thank you. So Thank easy you. to hear that so far away. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that is tremendous. I have loved having you as a guest on my show here today. I've enjoyed talking to you today too. Thank where are you, you going? For where are me. you going next? You're in Lagos right now. Where are you going next? Um, right now I just want to do some work on my computer and then finish up a few things, respond to some emails. That's it. I was referring to a maybe not just later today, but. Are you, are you going to be oh. traveling anytime soon or? Yes. So I'll are you be going to and maybe a few places. Going to where? I'll be going to California and maybe a few other places. Really? What are you doing in California? Uh, visiting. <laughs> you have family there? Friends. Outstanding. Be sure to bring a face mask. California still requires face definitely. masks. Yeah. yeah, definitely. But you can go to the beach, definitely. get some sun. Although you've been at, maybe yeah. you should go snow skiing. That's what you should try. Mm -hmm. Snow skiing. No, Have you ever done that? to my bucket list. Nope. 
but I'll definitely yeah. add it to my bucket list. It's a little scary for me because I just cannot imagine throwing myself down a mountain on a piece of slippery <laughs> wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it could it could be like a adventures. really good so episode for you though. Mm, that's that's a good one. I would watch. I that. would think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it and take it to advisory. Yeah, because in California, even at this time of year, you can go to the beach in the mm -hmm. morning, and then mm -hmm. you can drive a couple of hours and be in the mountains in the mountains mm -hmm. in the evening to do oh, some skiing really? in the evening. It's, it's, it's oh. a drive, but you can do it. And I believe right now nice. in Northern California, there is still snow at some of the ski resorts, I think. I'd have to check on that. It's June. Actually, I know. I have been in the snow in June in California. I'm not sure about this okay. year, but I have done that. And so you have to try mm. it out. Are you going to go will. to Los Angeles or San Francisco or? Los Angeles first. Then up north to San Francisco to see the Golden Gate? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, you have to walk and across Oakland. the bridge. Yes. And be sure to stop <laughs> at Fisherman's Wharf and have some... Oh, okay. It's a bread bowl. It's clam chowder okay. in a bread bowl. Mm. It's made of bread. And they just they, oh, they take okay. the middle of the bread out and they put clam chowder in there. It is my favorite place to eat clam chowder, <laughs> right there at Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. You got to go there. When you go there, think about me. I'll be jealous. I will. <laughs> I will. I'll be jealous. <laughs> I will. Well, I'll thank you for coming on the show there. today, Ola. Thank you for having me. Friends at home, this is, the, this is Ola we've been talking to. She <laughs> is the Oprah of Africa. And I'm looking thank forward you. to seeing her again. I hope that she will return and spend the time yeah. with us. Maybe go to San Francisco, call me from the Golden Gate, show me what it's <laughs> like and tell me what's that like to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge for the very first time. Until that happens, friends at home, be sure to have a beautiful day, enjoy the summer, stay safe, stay clean, and remember, I love you all. <laughs>